All right, add this to the video. Two things to show y'all. First off, this is my first three pack in a year and a half. And uh, I don't know how to add or Forest River doesn't know how to measure, but they're telling me there's 20 foot units. So theoretically, that'd be 60 foot of camper. Trailer's only 53 feet. The jib's out three foot. So from the end of the trailer, the very end of the trailer, to that ball, 56 feet. So I should have four foot overhang somewhere. I tucked my first unit. Ooh. Squeezed my ass up under there, hooked up my safety chains and all that shit. But theoretically, I should have had to tuck unit three underneath unit one. And I didn't. She fit like a glove. Now, if I hadn't taken this apart and at 20 foot, I should have more than four foot overhang, right? You would think. I don't know. Maybe I don't know how to do math. I know the last time I did 20s, I had three foot over the back and like four foot over the, or four foot over the back and three foot over the front. But that bumper's in line with that bumper. There ain't no fucking overhang. If there was, and I took it apart. But anyway. Um... I'll take it. I'll call it a win if I only had to tuck one instead of two. But I hadn't had to do that in a year and a half since I've been at Bennett. Why I decided to do this one, I don't know. It just reminded me why I don't do it. Yes, I removed my ramp. Keeps the height down. So that way, legitimately, this camper is just slightly under the height of my truck. Put the ramp up on the deck. Typically, what I would have done, and I wasn't thinking because, again, I've done it in a while. Usually, I take this ramp and the one on the other side, take them out of their holder. I just lay them flat on this lower deck and winch the trailer up on the ramp. Put my first hook here, up over the tire, put the idler hook in behind the ramp wherever it ends and then ratchet it down also I usually will take a piece of rubber or carpet put it down on the deck put the propane tank and then strap over the propane tank like it's a tire and I would actually put that back over here where I had plenty of room however there's no carpet in these units to steal that's where I would have put it. So, I just threw it in the upper bunk of the truck. Now, the second thing I'm going to show you, as quickly as I can, is my new ladder. Got a little handle. One step, two step, up on the deck. Now, that spot is for storage. Um, I use that ladder down along this lower deck. Uh, instead of putting my ass up on the deck and swinging my feet over and then standing up or flopping up here like a big fat walrus, uh, I just find an empty spot. Like tomorrow, I'll probably go ahead and drop it right here. Bloop. And then step, step up onto the deck and do what I gotta do. Push the camper off, grab it, move it down here. I slide this camper out. Step, step up onto the deck. Pretty cool. Got an absolute fabrication in Elkhart. Uh, it's like 39 bucks or something. Or you can really look at this and build your own. It does have 
spot so you can put a pin in it. Um, so yeah, and I keep it there for storage because of the clearance being the two-step. It sits kind of low. It sits lower in the toolbox, and I don't like that. So anyway, y'all be safe. Y'all be good.